Let's review the leading the needle technique. Notice we're in a short axis view of the vessel as can be seen on the right side of the screen. I have my probe held with a C grip and notice my fingers are planted comfortably against the phantom, taking the weight off the probe. We're ready to start the procedure. So notice that I'll place the needle just under the probe at approximately 45 degrees. And as soon as I see my needle tip on the screen, I'm moving the probe slightly away from me. And notice I'm doing this sequential movements of probe away from me, needle away from me, kind of back and forth and really micro movements until I just get into that vessel. Now notice that once I get into that vessel, I really want to get that catheter in more. So watch how I drop my angle because I want to get more catheter in, but I don't want to go through the back wall. So I'm going to drop my angle and again, do needle forward, probe forward, walking that needle into the center of that vessel. And notice at the end, what I like to see is that hyperchoic needle tip right in the middle of that circular vessel and move. I want to ensure that that is the tip of the needle. So I'll move the probe all the way away until that uh, needle tip disappears. And I'm ready to thread my catheter off. And then notice I'll go to a long axis view of the vessel and we can see that catheter is seated nicely in that vessel.